Microphone check, microphone check. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, Hello? Hello? Okay, it works. Back to me, yes. Come on, it's high intensity. Go, 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 go. Good. Get in there. Nice. Get your feet set. Come on. Oh. Get up, 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 up. Get up there, attack it. Nice job, Kay. Come in, Scala. What do you think about that shot? That was incredible. What why, why didn't you try to get it? I didn't even know it went over. I thought it was ready. Some people here. some people think it's like uh, that you get the point. But if it bounces here and then comes back over here, that's my point. You wanna learn how to do it? Yeah, yes, please. Okay, it's called backspin. It's super it's actually super easy. Very similar to a backhand drop shot by Ali, but you're gonna do a little bit more of an open racket face, so you're gonna absorb the ball in a little different way. And it's going to get backspin where it bounces and then comes back to your side. Go right behind that yellow line. And now first I want you to do a regular backhand volley. The other yellow line, the first one. It's very handy having pickleball lines. You come a little closer to the middle. Okay, now just do a regular backhand volley, okay? Regular backhand volley. You go down the line. And just freeze that, freeze the racket head right at contact. That's beautiful technique. And I do a backhand volley drop shot. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Don't open the ra don't open the racket face too much. Okay, so that was beautiful. Do it again. Okay, don't have to go down quite as fast. You want to more think about absorbing the ball in your string bed. You do need to go down in order to generate backspin, but let's just try to work on just the feel of it, the finesse of this shot, and just think about absorbing the ball, meaning that the racket can't go forward at it. It needs to go actually back a little bit. Okay. There it is, you see that? Beautiful dropper. If you open the racket face too much, you'll catch, you're gonna catch the, the frame right here. So you wanna open it, but not too much. There we go. Go a little softer hands. Okay, now, when it comes to backspin, the one thing that is gonna make more backspin is the incoming ball's pace. So if I hit it harder at you, it's gonna be a lot easier to make backspin. Okay, so I want you to come over on this side. Okay, Carla, now, same thing, but now with more pace, you're gonna find a lot more ease in doing this particular technique. Minimize the movement of the racket afterwards, okay? You could, like if you ever see Federer and some of these other guys, they, they are able to make a drop shot or a backspin with a lot of movement here, it is possible, but it requires a lot more feel, it requires a lot better timing. The easiest way to do it is just think of absorbing the ball in your string bed with an open racket face and let's just do the ball do the work okay. okay because if the ball impacts your string open like this naturally the ball will have backspin it's going to bounce off the strings going to rotate this way right that's backspin so all you got to think about open racket face and absorbing the ball okay. you can come down on the ball a little bit to increase the backspin so you start a little higher and then you freeze it right here absorb and freeze simultaneously come again Absorb the ball more. That is absolutely perfect. You like that? Yeah, that was nice. Nice. Another one. Absorb it a little more. Do you know what I mean by absorb? Yeah, it's like Make sure the racket doesn't go forward too much. That it go that it stays in place or actually goes backwards a little bit. Okay. okay? Give me one more good drop shot and then I'll show you backspin, okay? okay? Come on. Maybe the best drop shot you hit so far. Beautiful job. Now, I'm not a big fan of doing drop shots with the forehand. It's possible, but it's, the degree of difficulty is a lot more. Uh, people usually, when they get a forehand volley, they get a little bit more movement here. And so you don't want to have any movement like that when you're doing drop shots. So it's a little bit more risky to do volley drop shots with the forehand volley. And even from the baseline, this is the case where a forehand drop shot from the baseline, the degree of difficulty is much higher than a backhand drop shot. So I recommend that you attempt to do Volley drop shots mostly with the, with the backhand side. Okay. All right, so that was really good, okay? Quite easy, right? Thank you. 
So now, how do we do backspin? So you're going to have to hit it the exact same way because yeah. you already are making backspin. You are making backspin. But you've got to make so much backspin that the ball bounces on, the, on, on one side and then comes back to the other. So the easiest way to do that is to, number one, open the racket face a little more, but then also go down on the ball a little more so that the ball has a lot of backspin, so much that it's going to bounce here and then come back to the other side. Okay, so you're going to go like this, go a little higher, come at the ball with an open racket face and then continue going down like this. Now, you don't want to go forward too much. Uh, imagine having a wall in front of you right here. You don't want to go through that wall, but more going straight down like this. So you're still absorbing the ball. You're not going through it at all. All right, try it out. I think you can do it, Carla. You're still going through too much. Down. Come on, open the racket face. Okay, the reason why it's not backspinning, Carla, because you're still going like, you're going like this. You gotta go this way, but open the racket face, this. Just position your racket like this. I'm gonna feed the ball right into your racket. Let's just see what happens. Just leave the racket like this. All right, watch this. You see, that's, see how much backspin you're getting? So this is what you gotta focus on. Just maintaining this angle of the racket face and then going down, but straight down. Watch, straight down like this, straight down. Feed me a ball straight down like this. Now I can't do it without pace here, but okay. you got to just focus on opening the racket face and going straight here. The more open, the better. Open it severely. Okay. Ah, nice try. Go again. That was a beautiful drop shot. A little bit more side spin than back spin. All right, here, feed me if you, I'll show you. Okay, see what I mean? I'm not really focusing on much other than absorbing, opening, and going down. Give me another one. Let me try again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Try it again. You see what I mean? It's so simple, Carla. It's very simple. You want to absorb the ball, meaning you're going to catch it here and not allow the racket to go through, and then you go down at the same time. All right, come on, you got this. Come on. Come on, Kay, where's the feel at? Go again. Again, Kay, come on. You got this. It's okay, don't worry. Come on, open more. Open the racket face severely. Okay, you're hitting with side spin though. So if you put your racket like this, and, or if you make contact lower, the ball will have side spin. Can you just guide me and I'll do it, I promise. Okay, look, you're gonna come in here like this, not here, because okay. if you hit like this, this ball's gonna go there. Okay. It's gonna curve to the side. It come, won't come back over the net, that's more side spin. So, so you gotta come in like this, okay. straight. And now you're gonna go this way. Okay. See, this way. Yep. All right, this. Just maintain that, that shape of the racket. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Carla. Yes. Wow. Was that the first time ever? Maybe. <laughs> Incredible feel. But you know what I love about this? While you were trying to do this, you were hitting so many good back and volley drop shots because you were so focused on backspin. Even the ones that didn't go back over the net, there was tons of great drop shots there. So Carla, while this might not be something that you're going to use very often in a match, I still think it's a good practice because there's a whole family of, of shots that are very similar. For example, the, the chip return on the back end with one hand, uh, the back end slice, the back end volley, even the drop shots, they're hit very similarly with the continental grip and it's a whole family of similar shots. And so when you do these type of drills where you work on your feel, it can improve uh, those other shots as well, especially the backhand slice. That's quite an important shot that you do use a lot. So uh, this, was not, this was actually very valuable practice. Awesome. Thanks so much, Nick. No problem.